incorporating both digital and offline activities. People don't consider both. Oh, it, digital is very straightforward. It's very quick to implement. And with the, yeah, exactly. You can do it. AI powered this, that, and the other will create most of what you need very, very quickly, be it not always amazing. Um, and you still need to give it a good polish, but it gets you 80% of the way there for 20% of the work. But then you forget that there's everybody else like you is doing that same thing. So it's, you're just, you're just filling, filling the, the hole with noise and nobody can hear what you're saying. So you need to do something different and companies that do something different will succeed. I'm not going to say what that thing that is different is. There's one you need to speak to me about that. And your thing that's different is different from each other. So if everybody did the same, it would still be the same. There's a really powerful note though. And, I, and I've heard you talk about this a lot before, and I've seen, I've seen the impacts of it is that thinking offline because everybody yeah. just wants results now and it ties into the point we made earlier. So everybody wants results now. So the, the quickest thing you can do now is a digital something. Whereas actually the best results often come from that offline touch point. You know, I, I, I do a lot of networking and actually yep. with my, with my close network, sometimes just pick up the phone to people. And if I, I forget that I can do it, but when I do, I have amazing conversations probably way better than any video or conversation that we have or anything, because it's I keep trying to focus on something else whilst you're on the phone. You can't. So yeah. like, like having that phone, you've got their entire attention. Just the same as that moment when they open the post. When you open the post, there's nothing else happening because you're focused on opening the post. And 